Good morning. This is Saturday, June 3rd. And I'd like to begin by wishing my grandson and my namesake, Samuel Michael Lacombe, uh, happy birthday. Uh, uh, Sammy, I hope you have a great time. May your wife and your little girl, you guys go out and just celebrate your birthday together and know that Papa and, and Grammy love you very much. We hope you have a good day. We're praying for you all the time, all three of you. Today's devotion is the secret of the Lord. This is Psalm 25. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. Now, fear means revere, it's reverence. <clears throat> what is the sign of a friend? Is it that he tells you his secret sorrows? No, it's that he tells you his secret joys. Many people will confide their secret sorrows to you, but the final mark of intimacy is when they share their secret joys with you. Have we ever let God tell us any of his joys? Or are we continually telling God our secrets, leaving him no time to talk to us? And isn't that aggravating? When you're having a conversation and it's one-sided and that person just keeps talking and talking and talking, picture that with you and God. At the beginning of our Christian life, we are full of requests for God, but then we find that God wants to get us into an intimate relationship with himself, to get us in touch with his purposes. Are we so intimately united to Jesus Christ's idea of prayer, thy will be done, that we catch the secrets of God? What makes God so dear to us is not so much his blessings to us, his big blessings, but it's the tiny things that he does, because they show his amazing intimacy in knowing us that well. He knows every detail of each individual of our lives, each individual thing of our lives, my wife, one time, was, she, she does photography, as many of you know. And this one particular time, we was up country, and she was looking for a specific flowers, a lady slipper. And we, we looked all weekend, and out of nowhere, this guy came and told her about some lady slippers he found. Just out of nowhere. That little tiny detail about her life, God knew. Him shall he teach in the way he chooses, Psalm 25. At first, we want the awareness of being guided by God, but then, as we grow spiritually, we live so fully aware of God that we do not even need to ask what His will is, because the thought of choosing any other way will never occur to us, because we are standing in His will. If we are saved and sanctified, God guides us by our everyday choices. And if we are about to choose what He does not want, He will give us that sense of doubt or restraint which we must heed. Whenever there is doubt, stop at once. Never try to reason it out by saying, I wonder why I shouldn't do this. God instructs us in and what we choose. That is, he actually guides our common sense. And when we yield to his teaching and guidance, we no longer hinder his spirit by continually asking, now, Lord, what is your will? <clears throat> because we're standing in it. The challenge I have for today, today is take some time, some prayer time, and allow God to speak what he wants to speak to you. Just prayerfully and quietly kneel before God and see what he'd have to say. And then obey. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you want to get to know us this intimately, that even a small flower in the middle of the woods, you know that we want to see that, and you'll provide that for us. Thank you for those small things that we see, those small blessings. You are such a good God. We want to be able to have a relationship with you that's intimate and let you tell us the good things about who you are. Let us have listening ears and ready hearts, Lord. We ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.